Good afternoon. Welcome to another kiln opening. Just unlocking it, look. What we at? My assistant will show you. 39. So just take kiln gone off. See? 39. Just hang them up now. Right, 39 degrees. Turn it off. I'm going to unplug it and all. Better safe than sorry. Don't want to get blown to bits. Right then, first out. Oh, sprig mould. Got a sprig mould there. People say, how do you make, how do you make these? Sprig, and it's a sprig. So you stick something in clay, then you fire it. You fire it in relief, then you can put clay in that, tap it out, and then that can be applied to your, to your pot. So that's, that's what we do. We just have a quick slurp of coffee. Mmm. Available on Etsy. Right then, where are we? Oh, a couple of mug warmers. That's what they are. It's a bit of a new line for me. Um, that's a seaweed, a seaweed detail. That'd be quite nice. It's a biscuit kiln, so that they're not they're not really that inspiring on, on biscuit firing. Everything just comes out white, as you know from previous vids. That's just a plain one. In fact, that one's got a lid for it. But I'll not show you that because it's for a customer. And you, you'll, you might watch this and then say, oh, what have you done that for? There we are, there's another one. Now, I like detail on these, these ferns. Kind of liking that. 200 yards away from where we live, there's a little woodland walk at the side of the river, and that's where these come from. So, oh, and this is a yarn bowl. There you are. You having that? It's a massive one. Apparently, when you're knitting down on sweaters and stuff, you need massive bowls of wool. And that's like a jumbo sized one that I've been asked to make. So, that needs firing. Right, what we've got here? Oh, a greyhound, greyhound mug, greyhound, a couple of these Harry Potters, now I've got a red glaze, I'm going to start doing them in red, a lot of people are asking, but it's like all else, they ask for stuff, you make it and still, it still sits on Etsy, so to be fair, I just, really, I ought to just make what I want to make, but uh, yeah, you know, I have been asked, oh it's another one you're not supposed to see, you didn't see that did you? Right then, these are more heart shapes. I'll be honest with you, some of us glazing didn't quite work last time with hearts, so we've uh, we've rethrown a few, and uh, I'll be sorting them out this week. So hopefully these will be on for Valentine's, and they'll be uh, they'll be quite nice. Here's a here's a break from the norm. Here's a Diane. I know somebody would like that. Right, just get these stilts off. Oh, that's me other, me other assistant that's here. Right, what we got in here? Let's have a look in here. Oh, here's a, a George milk jug. Now then, that's catching, that's catching up some other edge jug stuff that I've got over here. So that makes a set. And then that's just a plain one with throwing rings. See them rings? They're from your finger then. See them? We don't put them in with like a, a tool with rings on. It comes off your fingers when you're throwing them. Another Harry Potter. Uh, what we got here? Another another fern detail. Which are quite lovely then. Or well, they will be anyway when they're glazed. They're going to be stunning. They're going to be stunning then. Go on Bing. Bing, your mum's filming. You can't be clambering up. Tell your dog love. Here's another one. Nice, nice, nice cups, them. Nice mugs. And then last one's a fruit bowl. This is a Swiss fruit bowl. We've got, got mountain detail going on. Some cars round. Yeah. Yeah, quite a nice, a nice shape. Let's have a look. Nice ring to it, you see. Right then, there you are, champs. Look after yourself, be sure to tune in, be sure to look at Jolly Potter on Etsy and Facebook, I have a Facebook page. Um, 
you don't have to you don't have to get offended if some of the slogans on cups upset you but then again it's a free country if you want Bambi putting on a mug let me know put it on if you want you know go I'll put that on as well so anyway see you later champs take care and uh, be sure to tune in next week good night